I just downloaded the latest version of software for Tesla, version 48.12.1. And boy, it's got some pretty cool features. So the latest version came down last night. In fact, I was getting up for work, believe it or not, two o'clock in the morning, I go to work, at least I wake up for work, and I had received the notification on my phone that I had the latest software update available. And from my phone, I said, go ahead and give the update. So I didn't even have to go to my car to do that. So the latest version that has been uh, downloaded to my car has, is version 48.12.1. So let's take a look at those release notes and see what we've got. You can keep your climate on. And this is something that I believe was being talked about a little bit earlier. You can now keep your car and its contents at the temperature of your choice, even after you've left, to help ensure that you have enough battery to drive to your next destination. The climate control will automatically turn off if the battery level reaches 20%. You can always monitor your car and adjust the temperature using the Tesla mobile app. You will receive a notification that the battery has reached 20% and that the climate control is turned off. This reminds you to check on anything you've left in the car. So to set the climate control, you can tap the fan icon at the bottom of the touch screen and your car is parked. Note, the next time you drive your car, the climate control will reset to the previous settings from your most recent trip. So that's kind of something to keep in mind as well. So basically, you know, this is something that has always been available, at least, uh, to the level of you could, from your app, turn on your AC if it was hot, or you could turn on your heat if it was cold. But one of the new things that I think is great is from the app is that you will be able to turn on your seat heaters. Now, that's not what uh, the Keep Climate On is. In fact, let's go over to that section here and see that. So again, I've pushed this fan. And there it is, I can keep it on, or I can turn it off. And it will leave it on or off, whatever it is I decide based on the, you know, whenever I leave and, and come back. So it will leave that on for you if that's something you wanna have on all the time. I can't imagine why I would want, myself would want that on all the time, but if I live in a very cold climate, I can see how something like that would be uh, a really good thing. And of course, a hot climate, would also be a good thing but you know it'd be interesting to see what it does to the battery too to see how much range you lose during the day or um, you know at night whenever it is you're going to be using this feature so again i guess that's something to think about uh, when you are kind of using that function all right let's go ahead and take a look at the other release notes here and get the release notes going so the mobile app let me turn this uh, ac off by the way or, or at least the, the heater on i don't want to be cooking here. All right, here we go. Uh, so again, we have the mobile app. So when you precondition your car using the mobile app, you can now turn on off and adjust your seat heaters. And that was something I was mentioning earlier. If available in your car, you'll also be able to turn on your steering wheel heater. That, no, that's not cool to talk about that. Of course, it's probably in the Model S and X, but it's not in the Model 3. Why? Why don't we have a heater for our steering wheel? I'd like to know why. All right, anyway. Um, it requires mobile app version 3.8.0 or greater. Now, here's the thing. I did just check, check my uh, mobile app. I actually have 3.7.0. And unfortunately, the app, at least in the App Store in, in Apple, as, as I'm recording this, which is just a little after 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning, December 19th, um, the app is still not available. Uh, so I'm going to keep checking that. Uh, because you know you want to be able to use the latest features. So of course you see below that the romance mode. Experience the warmth of the, our virtual fireplace with romance mode. To enable romance mode when your car is in park, tap the T at the top of the okay, of course that's how you can get all into that. And of course the ever so popular emissions testing mode. We'll get into that a little bit later. That sounds like fun. Pole position. Uh, you know, this is actually, I'm, I'm excited about this one because I was not really ever a fan of any of the, the Tesla Roddy games that were available. I was never very good at them when they were out. I'm not very good at them now. They're not very fun to me. I know I may be crazy, whatever, but I never enjoyed them. 
So pole position, now that's something I can get into and have a little bit more fun with. So uh, we'll play around with that and see how it is. And here's something that's kind of new and, and pretty cool too is the Tesla Atari game uh, controller support. You can now play Tesla Atari games with a USB game controller. Simply plug in the controller into one of your car's front USB ports and launch your Tesla Rata game when your car is in park. Note, controller behavior may vary depending on its make and model. Yeah, okay. And of course, at the very bottom of usually any um, release is that it contains minor improvements and bug fixes. So, uh, you know, I don't know what those are, but I always love a bug fix. Okay, so let's take a look at all of this. And we showed you how to turn the climate on and off. Let's get back to this. Turn on the Easter eggs here. And let's start with romance mode. So, that's pretty neat. I mean, I don't know, date night, bring your loved one in the car, turn on the fire. And another thing that's interesting is not only are you seeing the warmth, but you're going to feel the warmth as well because the heater turns on. The heater had turned on when I had done this. So that's kind of interesting that the heater decides to turn on as well. And if you tap it, but I have to turn that off because I don't want to get any kind of... Uh, copyright infringement there so yeah it, it plays fun romantic music with that as well so again you tap it and it will play music for you and again i'm not going to play that music for copyright reasons but also um what we've got here is that heater turning on so that is fun let's see if we can get out of here there we go that's how you get out of it uh let's get the easter egg and of course Let's do this. All right, let's get to this. Let's do it. <laughs> um, so this is the emissions testing mode. You can see a couple of toggles in here. Um, the one that I find interesting is the fart on turn signal. Um, that's, I guess, the same concept as the Santa mode. You know, the, the jingle bells. That's, I mean, I mean, that's understandable. That's kind of fun, especially with the kids. But the fart mode on the turn signal, I mean, all right. I mean, I guess every time you have to use a turn signal, um, so that's how that works. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to turn my turn signal on. Yep, there it is. <laughs> um, and right turn signal. Yep, there it is. Okay. Um, now let's turn that off because I don't think I'm going to want to have that on. Then, of course, there's the fart on demand. And this is when you hit the left steering scroll wheel to fart. So let's try it. Yep. <laughs> Oh boy, there's that. Uh, and of course you can do the back right seat, you can do the back left seat. And of course, every time you do that, it's gonna do a little sample for you. And of course you've got, yes, yes, that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the driver's side. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the, you know, I'm gonna be picking up my son from school and he usually sits on the right side. So he hasn't seen this before. Uh, I'm gonna surprise him with it and he is going to absolutely love it. So that should be fun. And of course you got all the different random farts in here. Um, uh, maybe you can hear it. Yeah, there's the ludicrous fart. Here's the neuro stink fart. Okay, all right, and <laughs> there's the, that was ooh, boring fart. Uh, I think that's the one. Yeah, that has a little something extra at the end. That's uh, not so boring. And then, of course, the random. I think that's the one I'm going to want to do. Just, you know, every randomly you can do that. So, um, you know, that is amazing technology at its best. That is uh, the, the best engineers at Tesla at their best. The, the greatest software designers working hard over at Tesla having some fun all right so uh, that is the emissions testing mode there you have it and you know when you're out of it it still works <laughs> all right um, let's go ahead and check out the atari tesla atari it's going to load on up and i've already got it set to pole position and it gives you a warning at the beginning because a couple of things you have to keep in mind you know to maneuver use a steering wheel i think that's awesome that you use the steering wheel that makes it so much more fun uh, accelerate, press the brake pedal to accelerate and release to slow down. And then the scroll wheels on the gears between low and high. So you can scroll those up and down. And the warning is do not use gear stock or accelerator pedal while playing. Unintended use may cause a vehicle to shift out of park and start 
driving. So do not allow children to play unattended as well. So those are some of the warnings in there. So let's get started here. And you know, just when you look at it first, it looks original, right? It looks like the original pole position game. But what doesn't make it original is the car. How cool is that? It is a Tesla. And I think it looks like it's a Tesla Model 3. So that is pretty fun. I love that. So let's go ahead and get started. I am in low. I'm going to go ahead and burst the brake. And by the way, I noticed, now I'm going to scroll down for high. Now I'm in high. I noticed, too, that the um, brake light goes on. By the way, whoa, 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 too much. <laughs> that was pretty, uh, all right, let's put it in low. Get you going high. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that wasn't so good. Um, I'm the last, that was the worst. Let's try that again. I want to redeem, let's see if I can redeem myself. I'm going to try this again. Mars Madness. All right. It's going low. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if I can redeem myself here. And now I'm in high. Okay, it's straight away here. You got to turn. Maybe I'll put it in low. Hi. Oh my goodness, I'm not very good at this. I don't know if I'm going to redeem myself. All right. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, too much. All right. Oh, there went my father in law decided to drive by. He's probably wondering why I'm in my car pretending like I'm driving. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully, I can do better than last. I'm in. Oh, I'm in low. That's why I'm doing so well. Let's try faster. Okay, here we go. I think I made it to the finish. I, di I did. All right, number 51. Oh, I can put my name in there. Should I put, um, you know what? I'm going to do, how do you, how do you do that? Okay, there we go. No. Oh, there we go. What if I want to go back? Okay, I've never done that before. Okay, well, that was fun. All right, so I was able to get number 13. So on the left scroll wheel, you just kind of scroll it up and down. Now, there's a bit of a lag. Uh, so I got F, then I, you, you push the, the left scroll wheel, and then I'm going to go up to T. And you kind of have to be patient with it because there's a bit of a lag. It doesn't have the best response. There we go. I'm going to try to get a G in there. So up and down to scroll through the letters on the left scroll wheel. And then when you want to kind of confirm that letter, then you push the scroll wheel in to get to the next letter. There you have it. So there is pole position. I probably spent more time on that than you probably would have wanted to have seen. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, take it back to uh, the Easter eggs. And that's it. So, of course, that was the, you know, you got the romantic mode. You got the fart mode. And you got the Atari. And again, going back to, I don't want to go to Santa mode. Uh, going back to the release notes, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. So there are probably will really be some questions. By the way, I was talking about the app and I don't have it. Uh, I'm going to show you some screenshots and I'll talk about it right now. If you want to find out the uh, app version that you have, um, of course, two things. When you're in the home, uh, home screen of the app, the home screen at the bottom of it will show you the version software that you have in your car. When you toggle on the settings, which is in the upper left, it's that co that's that cog in the upper left-hand uh, corner of the app. You tap on that, and what that will do is then you go to the bottom of that in the settings uh, uh, part of the app. At the bottom of that, it will show you the version of the app that you have. And as of right now, as I mentioned earlier, the you know as of December nineteenth uh, at ten twenty-one. The app is still not available from the App Store at Apple. So that's pretty much that in a nutshell. So there you have it. That is the latest version 48.12.1.
That is a quick tour of the latest software update for Tesla, and I would love to hear what you think, so be sure to post those comments in the section below. And if you liked this video and found it informational, you can give it a thumbs up, and better yet, subscribe to my channel. And if you are thinking of buying a Tesla or know of anybody buying a Tesla, be sure to give them my referral code and use that for six months of free supercharging when you make that order. Of course, that's the latest offering coming in from Tesla. So thank you all so much for watching, and until my next video, stay positively charged. Hey, come on. There's nobody in here. Was that me? Oh, beans and cabbage, just not a good idea.